past a uh, few days, you know, a little bit over a week, uh, one story has dominated the headlines, Galam Say, but this specifically has to do with the special prosecutor and the Kwani Kwani that he's playing <laughs> between himself and a certain Charles Bissou. Yeah. And it's still raging on today. Charles Bissou and his team, they were in court. Yeah. And they've secured a court order mm -hmm. restraining the special prosecutor from enforcing that arrest warrant. Yeah. Also stopping him from issuing such you know, warrants in the, in the future. Of course, it's going to last for 10 days, but it's in effect as we speak. Charles Bissou is proving a pretty tough nut to crack as far as the special prosecutor is concerned. But it's, it's a very interesting time indeed. I think the special prosecutor had not had not dealt with... In fact, he himself confessed that this is possibly one of the biggest cases they've had to handle mm -hmm. with almost 100 people. At the heart of this has been Charles Bissou and Professor Fimpon Boate, uh, which has been playing out. In, in, in We're asking the simple question. The OSP is obviously on fire, but is he burning the right people? Well, it was a very important question, and the challenge with that question really is the fact that the OSP, <coughs> beg your pardon, is uh, not mentioned names. Okay, I mean, you're telling him, uh, Samson asked that question <laughs> I mean, multiple times, and the OSP keeps telling you, oh, we are investigating. Uh, but for the fact that Professor Frimpon Boating himself came out to say he had been arrested, they wouldn't have mentioned names. Charles Bissou, yes, because he's been trying to, he's invited him, Charles Bissou is resort, I mean, resorted to the court. So that's where the challenge is really. Um, he said that uh, others have come. We heard the last time that uh, Ewusi, Akwe Ewusi was also uh, there. And so if you, if you look at it from the fact that, you know, Akwe Ewusi, Professor Frimpon Boatin says Charles Bissou introduced Akwe Ewusi to him, then Akwe Ewusi was now in charge of, uh, yes, you know, the excavators and all of that. It's important you want to, inv uh, you know, investigate Akwe Ewusi. It's important you want to investigate Charles Bissou because here's the OSP talking about, you know, uh, some... Uh, 320 million given to the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. I mean, if you ask me a very simple question, I'll tell you, first of all, what, what, what was the whole idea of doing that to the committee? Because it's a committee that was set up to actually look at, I mean, coordinate activities. Mm -hmm. And you're coordinating activities, and you have 300 million Ghana cities to coordinate activities over a four-year period. That's a lot of money. Because they use part of the money to buy drones. Yeah. Yes. Some equipment. They also they, they, the they, they, they shouldn't just see. That's the point. I mean, you didn't have to let the committee be the ones purchasing drones and whatever. Because you, you said that um, illegal mining is multifaceted. So in dealing with it, you have to actually look at all the sectors. So Ministry of Interior, Ministry of Defense, your Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources, your Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development, Sanitation and Water Resources. Okay, so if all of them are coming to the Minerals Commission, and you have, uh, you know, environmental, uh, protection uh, environmental protection agencies, agency. so you have the Ministry of uh, Environment, Science, Technology, Innovation. Here, I think that, look, let, let's, let's be very blunt here. I think whatever may have happened, Professor Frimpon Boateng scored one over the special prosecutor. How? Now, that in interview that you were there, you were the one who interviewed him when he said he had been arrested. I mean, I was um, driving home when I got a call that Evans is going to interview the special prosecutor. Um, where are you? And I said, oh, I'm on my way home. I got down, I was watching. I mean, I was following everything that he was saying. One of the things he did was to strike the emotion button of Ghanaians. Mm. So all of a sudden, all of us became concerned. What he did subsequently, or what even the international community is beginning to do for mm -hmm. him, is when you have the German embassy, Endorsing him. It, endorsing him. Yeah. Now, the timing. Look, as hard as the special prosecutor has tried, has tried to actually say, look, it's just, just coincidence, I would say, and I agree, this could be coincidence, but if I was the one advising the special prosecutor, I would have told him, this is not the time you pick from Paul Martin. Well, he said that, the, you described as a luckless coincidence. Evans, if you were advising, you wouldn't advise him to go and pay for Paul at that time. Because every decision you take, you must look at the timing. Look, there are stories you want to do. And when you look at it in agenda setting, you look at it and say, this thing won't fly. Okay? Today we're doing the, portal, the GH portal exhibition. It's flying. Because this is the right time to do it. We've done, I mean, a year of road for four times, four years. 
And now we say, okay, how about let's how, how about we check this? And it's flying. So no matter how you look at it, look, with all the good plans and everything, I say this was not the right time. You you agree? No, no I think that all of the issues that are coming up came up after he was picked up. For example, the German endorsement and all of that came up after he was invited to the yeah. OSP. Mm -hmm. If he had not invited him, all of these things probably might not have come up. So um, the timing, like he said, could be coincidental. Where I agree with him about not pursuing further may have been the development after the arrest. Because we all had all of these issues after the man had gone to the OSP and he had been arrested and granted bail. So after you saw how the state was, you know, swaying to his side, you could probably say, okay, well, let me draw back because now the minority is saying that there are other bigger fishes that you're not going after. So looking at how the country was raging in his favor, you could say, okay, well, we've placed you under, under bail. We're not going to do any further, uh, you know, uh, runs but on that. makes one. a point. Mm -hmm. that he cannot use those considerations in executing his mandate. Considerations of whether you are a saint and he says, I don't consecrate mm. what, what the public opinion mm. is about a person, whether you're a hero or you are our savior. Mm. I, those considerations cannot be the, the determinants of what he does and what he doesn't do. He simply mm. was looking at the, 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 black, the letter of the law, mm. it's black and white, and I, I believe this individual deserves to be arrested, and he did so. Yeah. I agree with, with, with Winston when he says there's a court of law and in this case, that's what the law says. Mm -hmm. And there's a court of public, public opinion. opinion. And, there's, yeah. and, and there's also context mm -hmm. to issues. Yeah. You could actually do the right thing at the wrong time. Yeah. And it will be wrong. Mm -hmm. Look, right? so, so the timing issue. The timing issue. I mean, the yeah. fact that he himself identified it as a lackless uh, uh, coincidence, coincidence. Mm -hmm. in itself mm -hmm. suggests that he, if, if he had, if he had, if he had, and possibly will not have adopted the same. This is it for me. This is it for me. The special prosecutor would have known because he has a communications team. Look, sometimes, yes, you're doing your work, you're doing everything, and all the fact you're doing very well, you may say, this doesn't matter. But let me just give you some antecedents. You remember that when, um, you know, uh, Mr. Rollins, Mr. Rollins, at a point in time, when he went before the National Reconciliation Committee, mm -hmm. Commission, permission. Mm -hmm. Why was he invited? He was invited because of a tape. Did you see the number of people who went to accompany Mr. Rollins on that day? Now, when he got there, they just asked him a simple question because he was there for the tape. You had had, you had, had people go there and actually mention his name, right? Mm -hmm. Did you see, see the commission in asking him questions about where, where, what people had said about him? The commission was very strategic. Mr. Rollins had just handed over power to J.A. Kufour. Still enjoyed a lot of support in this country. In the minds of the committee, I, I'm inferring, the last thing you wanted to do was to get people on the streets crying persecution. Do you have the tape? I don't have it. Mm. That's all. Did you see the look on Rollins' face? Is that all? They said, yes. He said, okay. Oh, really? He laughed. Mm. Because he thought, you know, he had been subpoenaed to be there. He thought he was going, to, he was going to be asked questions and everything. He just showed up there and left. My point is that, look, we could have waited. The moment, listen. But, but can, you, can you put it in context, to be fair to the OSP? No, I'm putting it in context. You, you'd understand. He had invited him weeks before. Listen. Nobody the, knew about no, the No, the OSP. The <laughs> OSP. No, 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 yeah. no. The OSP. Right. Listen. The OSP, again, Professor Frimpong Boating was the one telling us that the OSP had invited him. Mm -hmm. Watch this carefully. Mm -hmm. Whatever Professor from Bobati knows, we may not know. And so I am not in the mind of the OSP. I'll use what he has said to make the point. And I'm not saying that, you know, the OSP is wrong and everything. But like we've agreed, sometimes. Because look, let's, let's do all the argument. The OSP was on news file because of what from Bobati had done and mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. He didn't go there because he wanted to. He also chose a platform that he believed he could actually... That he believed was so credible enough. Forced him to he react. He forced react. him to react. Mm. And you know, in, in comms, if you are reacting, then, yes. you know, you There's a problem behind. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're behind. Yeah. And you see, that's what Frimpong Boating did to... And Frimpong Boating, look, I've had, um, I have uh, sources within the uh, OSP that have told me that um, uh, the, the, the body of evidence against Frimpong Boating is incriminating. 
Mm -hmm. And so they believe he's acted fast by, you know, getting public sympathy, public support against you. Mm -hmm. That's what my sources are telling me. And again, I'm saying these are what sources have told me. But whatever it is, I am saying, look, whatever the OSB has invited people is that they would probably issue a statement. They say it's not always that they do these things. I don't know their uh, communication plan and strategy, so I'm not going to get into it. But I sit back and I say, look, whatever it is, because one, and we started the last time and analyzed the government's response to Frimpon Boateng, where they said that some people actually said that, in fact, in the, the presidency response, because he was not his then I was not renewed. We saw that, right? Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that was the allegation. Mm -hmm. That was allegation. Like this was some sour mm -hmm. grapes of a sort. Yes, and the moment you do that, read it carefully. Let's do that. I mean, let's do the uh, permutations. This man is bitter, so he is doing this. Mm -hmm. He says, "I haven't done that." Then the special prosecutor invites him mm -hmm. and says, "You are under arrest." Automatically, when he gets out there and says. Oh, yeah. he's arrested me. Oh, was yeah. he a mm -hmm. Meanwhile, apparently, everybody who's under investigation with some level of evidence is arrested and not granted self-recognizance bill. I didn't know that until, you know, Saturday. Yeah. And so then you begin to, so that's where you can actually make the point that, look, it gets to that point that you can say that, okay, in fact, by even coming out, the special prosecutor won a lot of hearts. But there are still people who would say, oh, abwa, 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 and look at the article from uh, uh, Professor Jampo also. He says, oh, where are you talking about your independence? I, I mean, I don't agree with Jampo's point because I mean, when I spoke to him, I told him that. But you should be encouraging people like that to be talking about their independence. And he says he agrees that that's where to go. I think that, look, at this point in time, investigations are continuing. If you complete, conclude investigations, you will take them to court. Those that you want to prosecute, you take them to court. The special prosecutor will publish his, um, you know, his um, report. His report. We will go and find out um, and know those who are under investigation, those who are not under investigations. But I think that the special prosecutor could be following, and here I say could be following the right people, could be chasing the right people. No, but, but mm -hmm. of course, I mean, that's but, the thing, we don't know. We don't know, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I but, don't know. But even when he publishes, mm -hmm. I doubt if he will disclose. Yeah. Because there's something I agree with him on, which is that in Ghana, and Charles B. is, is facing this, mm -hmm. Once you disclose the identity of the person you've invited, public court. Yeah, I mean, or the person is already convicted. Mm -hmm. I mean, trial by public opinion. Opinion, yeah. Right? And the person is convicted. So I really agree with him. Don't disclose him. Yes, I also agree with him on that. But he's told us the number of people. Mm -hmm. But then there's a Charles Bishi one, which for me is fascinating. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating because you have Charles Bishi, who is a politically exposed person, mm -hmm. who is campaigning to be a member of parliament. parliament. He is wanted by the special president. This, this cat and mouse has been, has been played for about a week now. Mm -hmm. He's wanted. He's not going. He, he, the man secures a, a court warrant. And, and there too, I think, I think, they, I get a sense that, they, that, that the special prosecutor mm -hmm. may have been backed into a corner a bit on mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Because they've issued this notice today yeah. that they do not require a warrant, warrant. to arrest him. Mm -hmm. But it went to a court for a warrant. Mm -hmm. In the first place, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah. so it, it, it embraced it. So, okay, but you knew this but. after the time that you were going before the court ex party mm -hmm. to secure that warrant. Mm -hmm. Now, today, another court says, which is restraining you from executing the warrant and saying, you know, desist from applying for, for that warrant in the future. Until immediately, you hear the substantive the matter that this immediately has. you issue a notice that mm -hmm. we don't require warrants. Mm -hmm. okay. So, you've known this all along. So, in other words, you're saying that. Going to court in the first place for the warrant mm -hmm. was superfluous. It wasn't something they should have done. You should have looked for him. Mm -hmm. But this is the strangest part. The special prosecutor's inability to arrest uh, Charles Bissi. Because we all know what Charles Bissi was, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, we were talking to him. Was it yesterday? Uh, we spoke to him, I think, on Tuesday. 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 Mm -hmm. Was it Tuesday? Tuesday. Yeah, yeah Tuesday. Yes. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Today is Thursday. Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And this was uh, the day after, or the day the... Wanted notice was, was published. Was published, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. We spoke to him. Mm -hmm. And you spoke to him. Mm -hmm. You know where he is. Yeah. I mean, I, I know where he is. Mm -hmm. he, we spoke to him. That is why I'm curious why the special prosecutor has been unable to effect his arrest. Mm. That I can't explain. You know, um, is it that the special prosecutor, obviously we know it, it still has teaching challenges. 
He needs the police to affect the rest, or, or agents. From oh, but he used the police to arrest the... Exactly, exactly. Um, they have police powers. Uh, MC nominee yeah. who went about driving and exactly. went for yeah, yeah, They have police so, powers. But you need to find the person first. They know where he is. They and can find him. I said that he's not on the run, okay? He's in Ghana. He's in Ghana. And he says he's not yeah. on the run. Mm -hmm. But he said, he was he too. He said he was, he's going to turn himself in. Uh, but, but well, he's a... He's an individual that has lawyers backing him. Mm -hmm. So if he comes out to say that I'll turn myself in, and the lawyer who is giving you the legal advice says that, no, we have already gone to court to challenge what he's doing. So wait, let us finish that process. Well, he will listen to them. You think that is, that is what has happened? Exactly. But if that is not what happened, he would, he would have turned himself in because he said he was going to do it. But his lawyers looking at what was on the table says that, no, we've gone to the high court challenging what the OSP is doing. How can you turn yourself in when we have not finished that process? So look. Let's finish it. Let the court make the pronouncement, and then you, we do whatever we have to do. Mm. Today, the court says that I don't agree with the OSP in terms of him going for an arrest warrant to uh, chase you when he has not finished or the court has not held. Yeah, just, yeah. So, I mean, he is an individual who said I was going to go. But law lawyers, knowing what the legal implications were, said, that, no, hold on, let's finish it. And I think that's what really happened. The lawyers were able to get him to say that, rethink about this. Let's finish what is happening. So, and, you, so Charles mm. Bissu will not will not execute that, you know, confession that he's mm -hmm. going to go. He's, that's not that's going to happen anymore. Oh, no, no, no. I, I believe, he's going to I believe it's going to happen, happen, but it's going to happen when the law has finished listening to them. Exactly, because the issue okay. is that he says that because of the petition that was sent to the OSP, and I believe you have a hand in it, is you are going to be a referee in your own game, mm. which, of course, the the lawyers would, would probably say the that that's eh? Exactly, it won't happen. So I won't come. Mm. So probably the, the court would have to make pronouncement to say that, well, even though you have the thinking that because or you suspect the petition that brought about this whole investigation emanated from him when he was a lawyer for... No, but we've seen that document. It was mm -hmm. signed by um, Anas Arabi Anas and not um, Kisi Ejabin when he was... So are we also department. going to say that the former OSP, Martin Amidu, lied or, or was not factual when he put out this, uh, that, that uh, epistle that sought to portray no, that, I, I that, that the document came from him. Well, I saw the document. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. published this week or last week, mm -hmm. and it, they had the signature of Anas on it, not, you know, Kisi. Well, but, but um, I mean, that matter will be decided on right. by the court. That when the court decides it, then, yeah. The then but, but you see, but you see, if I also had a chance to, yeah, I mean, well, these are, I am no lawyer, and the lawyers are, you know, engaging what they want to do. Mm -hmm. If I had the chance to advise uh, uh, my brother, I won't discuss things that I've discussed with him, mm. and I've told him to turn himself in. Now it becomes a bit difficult because what you seek to prevent is already out there. You've been declared wanted. Mm. So if you want to use the law, if you think there are legal avenues that you can actually use to challenge that, you may resort to it because then really, I mean, you've already suffered what you didn't want to suffer, what you shouldn't have suffered. But Winston, why don't we question the release of the notice of even someone being wanted? when you are aware of processes that the person has initiated in court trying to prevent you from uh, you know, in making use of that arrest warrant, and you go well, ahead to issue that wanted notice as if the person is, is on the run. Is well, it you say, well you, you're very right, but of course there's a legal issue again. Mm. And um, they'll go back to court in 10 days, we'll find out what would happen. Mm. But I am saying that one of the things you seek to prevent all the time, you see, public opinion about you is very important. Yeah. And the internet doesn't forget. Okay, so I would have preferred if I were advising Charles Bissu, just go. Mm. Okay, because when he said he was going to, but at this point in time, the Do damage that he, 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 turns, he turns himself in. I mean, yes, but you know, but for him, he has his own issues with the special prosecutor. Mm -hmm. He believes that as lawyer for Anas mm -hmm. Arumia, Anas who did the uh, Galamse fraud, um, he's conflicted, mm -hmm. and so he will not be granted a fair whatever. But this is the point. The special prosecutor is not the one who's going to, at the end of the day, jail you. You go to a court. And that court, if it feels that the special prosecutor has brought a frivolous case against you, will throw it out. Yeah. Okay? So you can actually better deal with your case mm. in court. Mm. I would prefer, let's go to court and let's go and deal with it. Let's the go to is in court. It's in court. He's challenging the SP. Uh, yeah, it's challenging the SP in court. There are a lot of the, you know, these issues. Again, these are the legal things. These are the technicalities that they use all the time. So, um... You know, but, when, but, but Winston, will you turn yourself in when you know that there's a possibility of you being treated as a hostile witness? And no, something of course, if you've been declared wanted, mm -hmm. if you've been declared wanted, mm -hmm. obviously you know if you turn yourself in, mm -hmm. you'll be arrested. Yeah, I, I think right? that. that yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but if you are arrested, you can be granted bail. Well, you can be you can be granted bail. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, so go and be granted bail. That's it. Go get a bail and move on. Mm. You go. You're granted bail. In fact, look. 
if you, you you can you can turn yourself in today professor from bomb batting is turning himself in okay he can now begin to take case one after the other against the special prosecutor mm. and a substantive case will never you, you it will take you forever sometimes to hear them look at how long it took uh, how long is taking the uh, opening trial but i also mm. remember and then, the and, and now they're back at it again mm -hmm. the special prosecutor can also detain you for up to you know 48 hours yes. or, until he goes to court to of yes. course, charge you and possibly get a court to agree for him to keep you longer yeah mm -hmm. If that happens, that would be devastating. Yeah, to him, for, someone who yeah. is gunning to become a PC. That would be devastating. Yeah, that would be devastating to to. Uh, that's why I uh, that's why I stated that if I were him, mm. I'd have done that earlier. Mm. Okay, okay. But now that you want to resort to the courts, you could go ahead and do that. But if I were him, I'd have done that earlier, and then I'll just you know get your bill, move on with life. It's that simple. Okay, I mean, look, uh, is, I mean. We are people who are facing trial. And once you're facing trial, it doesn't make you a criminal. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for our part of the world, once you're uh, facing trial, it means that you've done something wrong. Yeah. Uh, but when you're facing trial... In the public opinion. In the public opinion. I mean, it doesn't mean that you are a criminal. Okay, because they say that it is, um, you know, better to have 1,000 criminals walk around and to have one innocent man in jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so final question. So is the SP on the right track here on this matter, the Gallum saying? Well, it looks like, I mean, look, it looks like he's doing well. Um, it looks like um, he's doing something good based on all the things that I've had seen. Again, he's telling us that uh, he's investigating the people in the hundreds. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen them. Yeah, but uh, he, he, he will tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I'm... Publish a report. A report, and he'll see these cases, there are cases on... Uh, you, I mean, in the report, he will not even mention names unless he's taking the case to court. Maybe then he will tell you the names of the people. Um, or unless there's a petition and that petition uh, found itself in the media, I probably may mention, because there are times that they've mentioned, you know, cases of people who are facing trial and who are, fa who are undergoing investigation. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that, look, he's on the right track. He's on the right path. Uh, he should continue this fight. But I should also be mindful sometimes that uh, as much as he is not into the consecrating of sins, when the public turns against him, everything he does will amount to nothing. You, you agree with that? Yeah, I agree that he's on the right path, but he should, like you said, he should listen to the public, and he shouldn't move with the flow. Like today, the court says this, and you come out to say that, well, you don't need a court warrant. I feel that really puts him in a bad light in, in the minds of people who believe that you have to obey to the rule of law. As you're trying to do, you are trying to implement what the law says you have to do, but you don't need to also try to be seen as going against the law. Do your work don't always come out to respond to issues in the public. I mean, in the end, at the end of the day, it is what, what matters is whether you're able to put people in prison for what they've done, actually done, I mean, and so not to I, fight the know, people I, in public. I, yeah. I, I really get the, I, and I agree, I think mm. he, Galam says, for me, is, mm. uh, it's environmental terrorism. Mm. And for me, that's, that's how terrible it is. So for him to be doing something about it, mm. he is definitely on the right track. It is a question about the approach. Mm -hmm question about the approach. He himself concedes that he has reputations at stake. So he wants to adopt a different approach that doesn't come across as if he's been you know, military style mm. in the way that he's pursuing the people. So the, the, he himself acknowledges that problem. I think what he needs to be mindful of, is something that you've said and I agree, is also in doing his work, you know, be mindful of the context. Mm. Of, of what what else is happening because as you said if you do something at the wrong time the good thing at the wrong time mm -hmm. it just will be wrong right yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. i mean so luckless coincidence is luckless because of the timing he chose mm. to go to on, on this matter, yeah. especially when mm -hmm. he's been investigating this matter since october mm -hmm. october of last year if i'm yeah. mistaken i mean so he had a lot, a lot of time but he also mm. has the question so if not if not now when no, before. Because then people will think that it's because the man brought out the report true, true. that you're doing no, this. True, true. Yeah. So immediately you saw the report out. Mm -hmm. You stay your hand. Mm -hmm. You invite the person. You still probe him. You don't have to arrest him. Mm -hmm. I, for me, that's what I think. Yeah. He wouldn't have lost anything. He wouldn't have lost anything if he had probed him, interrogated him, mm -hmm. and what not arrested him. Mm -hmm. Right? And not and, and wait till then. Because Fimo Mwati is not going anywhere. No. He's around. I you mean, can Fimo always Mwati, get him. He's not going. Mm. He, 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 Robert is not one of the people who can disappear. Mm -hmm. He will, you, you will find him. He's too popular. I think to some extent, even Charles Bissou also, 
right? Mm -hmm. Even Charles Bishop. Mm -hmm. This is man, the man who is, is oh, he, forms. He wants, he to, wants to become MP, he's member of parliament. He's always around. You can. He's campaigning. Mm -hmm. You know. So what? What do you want at the end of the day? You want to find the facts. Once you do that, then you go to court. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you want to secure a conviction. The question I ask is: Does the arrest and, of course, the subsequent bail does it stop him from a gathering the facts and presenting it before a court and hoping for a conviction if he did not arrest any of these individuals. I'm not no. sure it stops him. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so, so for me, once you answer that question mm -hmm. that it doesn't, mm -hmm. it's the affirmative, then I'm saying for some people, interrogate, because really, some people are a flight risk. Mm -hmm. So you want, but what was the point? If you arrest the person, you bail the person, the person can still run away. But of course, then you have shorties that you want to follow on, right? But there are some people that you, if you want the facts, you want to present those facts to court, you want to secure conviction, an arrest of these and some of these individuals will not stop you from still gathering the facts. Mm. If you invite them, you interrogate, you get the facts. Because sometimes they might even cooperate with you even more, depending on the approach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Depending on the approach. And that, that is the only thing I would yeah. say. But apart from that, he is doing his job and he has to. And, and, and I think mm. you, you actually find a subtle admission in this interview that what is happening, the contest is important. You can't take it away, you can't take it away. I mean, I, exactly. I, mean, I mean, the contest is very key. Yeah, even everything. judges, even judges, when they are pronouncing on cases, yeah. they, they are mindful of the societal implications mm. and the societal content within which that judgment has mm. been delivered. It, you find it in the judgment as well. Mm. You know, and, and of course, so when he says, well, I don't mm. consequence saying that's mm -hmm. true. That's, mm. that's a fact. So it, that's what is going to happen is that these people may probably not be too willing you know, to come to, to the party, yeah, yeah to, to cooperate, cooperate with him. Yeah. They rather say, okay, you go to court, we'll come and then put our defense. So, which is what is so, happening. Yeah, which so. is what is happening. Um, but anyway, I mean, let's see how this is resolved. But the fight against illegal mining must continue. Oh yeah, sure. And he deserves all the help he needs to get to the bottom of the, of this, these allegations, mm -hmm. establish the facts, and prosecute if indeed there is a case yeah. to be made before a court of competent jurisdiction. Listen, um, we will continue to see what how this plays out. Um, Charles Bishu, as you said, from mm. your sources may, may not go after all because the court has pronounced today. I um, would like to mm. play, play it out. Mm -hmm. and, you know, once we know more, we'll come back and discuss. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the rest of the day.